In this video, I will show you how to download and install 40 client for free. I will show you two ways which is the online and offline installation. Open a web browser. Search for 40 client download. Choose the first link which is 40net's official website. Scroll down to the bottom and look for 40 client VPN. Choose your operating system. We have the version for Windows, Mac OS, Linux, etc. Since I am using Windows 11 then I will choose Windows. You can check my other video on how to install on Linux and also Mac OS. Tick download to proceed. Let's check the downloaded file. You can manually go to the downloads folder or you can simply tick on the folder icon. Double click on it to install the executable file. Wait for it to complete the download process. This may take a bit of time depending on your internet speed. Tick the box to agree to the license agreement then tick next. Tick install to proceed. It will now install the application. I will fast forward the video. Notice the shortcut icon that has been automatically created on the desktop. The application has now been installed. Tick finish. Now, let's launch the 40 client VPN. Check the box then tick accept. Tick configure VPN. Enter the SSL VPN settings. Enter the connection name you prefer. For the remote gateway. Either you enter the public IP address of the remote site or the dynamic DNS. Dynamic DNS is very useful if you are not using a fixed public IP address. You can check my other video on how to configure the dynamic DNS. You can check the link on the description below. Next is enter the listening port. In my case, it's 10443. Tick save login for you not to enter your username every time you want to access the remote site. Enter the SSL VPN user ID. In my case it's Jack. Save the configuration. Enter your SSL VPN user password. You can click and hold the eye icon to verify your password. Once everything is set then click connect. If this security alert pops up then choose yes to proceed. In some cases, it will auto hide in the taskbar. You can double click on the 40 client icon to view the status. We can see here the connection details, the VPN name, SSL VPN user's IP address, SSL VPN username, duration, this is how long this SSL VPN user is connected, the bytes received and bytes sent. To disconnect, click on disconnect. Once disconnected then you will be redirected to the login page. The next process is the offline 40 client installation. But first, we need to uninstall the 40 client we just installed. Right click on the start button, and choose installed apps. You can scroll down or use the search feature to search for 40 client. You can see the application name is 40 client VPN. At the right, click on the three dots icon. Choose uninstall. You need to verify the process. Tick uninstall again. Wait for it to finish the uninstallation process. It will tell you that you need to restart your computer to complete the process. Click yes to restart now. Choose no to restart later. I want to restart my computer now so I will choose yes. Now, we will download the 40 client offline installer. You can also download it directly from the link in the description below. I will keep it updated with the latest release. I will show you how to download it from Fortinet official website but for us to do this, we need first to create an account. Open your web browser. Go to support.fortinet.com. If you already have an account then log in into it. If you don't have an account then follow this process. First is you need to have a valid email address for you to receive the code. Without a valid email address, you cannot create an account. Now tick create account. Enter your email address, this is either your personal or company email address. If you are a government user then tick the box, if not then leave it unchecked. Tick create account to proceed. You need to complete the human verification. Tick I am human then complete what's being asked. 
Once completed, tick get email verification code. An email has been sent to your email address. Please enter the verification code you've received. Open the email address used to sign up. You should have received the registration email with the verification code. You need to copy this code and then paste it into the email verification code. Click next to proceed. Next is to enter your new password. Your password must contain a minimum of 8 characters, numbers, both uppercase and lowercase, and also some special characters. Enter and confirm your password then click next to proceed. Login credentials have been created. The next process is to complete the required details. Fill up all the details with asterisk. For the company name, you can input anything if it's for personal use. Same goes with the address. I will put my country of origin, the Philippines. Once done, click submit to proceed. You must agree to the Fortinet service terms and conditions. Tick the box to agree then choose accept to proceed. Success. Your FortiCloud account has been successfully created. Click complete to finish. The two-factor authentication has been automatically enabled so this email address will be used to receive the security code every time you log in to this Fortinet portal. Click complete to proceed. We will be redirected to the login page. Enter the email address and also the password you used to sign up then tick login. Input the security code. Check your email address for the security code. Refresh your email or wait for a bit if you haven't received this email from Fortinet. Once received, open the email and then copy the code. Go back to the Fortinet portal and then paste the security code. Tick go to proceed. We are now logged into the Fortinet portal. For us to download the offline installer, we need to have a Fortinet device registered to our account. You can check my other video on how to register a Fortinet device to the Fortinet portal. Again, if you don't have any device registered, you cannot download the offline installer from here but you can download it in the description box below. I will use my other account which has devices registered on it. You can see that there are two devices registered so we can use this account to download the offline installer. To download the offline installer, go to support. Go to downloads or choose firmware download. We are now on the download page. Under select product, tick on it to expand. Choose 40 client. You can see here the release notes, you can download and read it if you want. Now, we go to download. Choose the architecture you are going to install the 40 client application. We have the version for Android, iOS, Linux, Mac OS and Windows operating system. Since I want to install it on Windows 11 then I will choose Windows. Next is we will choose the version. We have here all the versions available from old to new by category. Of course, we will choose the latest one which is version 7. We also have here the subcategories. You can see the directory from above. Again, we will choose the latest one. During the time of this recording, the latest version is 7.4. You can also see the date created and the date modified. Click on it to proceed. For now, we only have this version 7.4.0. Tick on it. Now, we will choose which file to download. We will choose the last one which is 40 client VPN setup. To proceed with the download, click HTTPS. The download process will automatically start. Wait for it to finish the download process. The file size is around 170 megabytes. Let's check the downloaded file. We can go to download or tick on the folder icon and we will be redirected to it. We will now install the 40 client application. Again, this is the offline installation process. Double click on it to install. Tick the box to agree and accept the license agreement. Next to proceed. Click install to proceed. It will now proceed with the installation. Wait for it to finish the process. The 40 client application has now been installed. Click the finish button to exit the setup wizard. You can see the shortcut application icon that has been automatically created on desktop. Double click on it to launch the application. 
you must acknowledge that you're not going to contact Fortinet support if in case you encounter some application issues because this is a free software. Tick the box then tick accept to proceed. Tick configure VPN, we will now add the SSL VPN settings. You need to choose the SSL VPN. You want to use IPsec VPN then you can check my other video tutorial. Again, we need to input the same SSL VPN settings we tested earlier. The VPN connection name. Remote gateway or the public IP address or DDNS of the remote site. Port number. Save login for you not to enter your username every time you want to connect to the remote site. Enter your SSL VPN username. Click save to proceed. Now. Enter your SSL VPN password. Again, you can click and hold the eye icon to verify your password. Tick connect to proceed. If this security alert pops up then click yes to proceed. We can see here the connection details, the VPN name. SSL VPN user's IP address. SSL VPN username. Duration. This is how long this SSL VPN user is connected. The bytes received and bytes sent. To disconnect, click on disconnect. Once disconnected then you will be redirected to the login page. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave it a comment below. Well, that's all for today's demonstration and I really hope you liked this video. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, Subscribe and click on the notification bell for more amazing tutorials. Thank you and see you in the next video.